Namaste, guys. Thank you for joining me again. I hope the morning finds you well and happy and in peaceful space. Thank you for joining me. I'm sure your body thanks you for joining us as well. Our breathing practice today is going to be triangular breath. So inhale, hold, exhale. That will be the first round. And the second round will be working the other way around, which will be an exhale, hold on empty lungs, and then inhale on the other side. Remember the main objective of breath work is to bring your awareness to the body. The body can only be in the present moment, and if your awareness is in the present moment, then any stresses are greatly reduced. Practice where you are today, and by that I mean wherever you are in your body, don't be concerned about how your pose looks. However it's working is absolutely perfect for you today at this time. Okay, let's get started. Closing eyes, bringing hands into your lap, bring the awareness into the body, and let's bring body, mind, and soul together through the senses of the body. Take a deep, tall breath, breathe high to the crown of the head. And as you exhale, let your chin soften to your chest. Relax into the shoulders and feel the weight of your arms. Follow the breath for a moment, just feeling the movement in the body. Then come to listening, listen intently, hear any sounds around you, hear all sounds around you, try not to dwell on any, simply hear the sound and look for the next one. Then bring that listening back to the body. Try and hear the sound of your breathing. Take your awareness now to sensation. Bring your attention to the back of your head to that point that would touch the ground if you were lying on your back. Focus all your awareness there and see if you can find any sensations in the roots of the hairs on the scalp simply by taking awareness to that point. And let your attention slowly travel down the spine, coming out of the hairline into the neck, maybe feeling the touch of your clothing feeling the space between the clothing and the body coming down between the shoulder blades behind your heart down into the lower back and to the tailbone and then taking your attention underneath you feeling your grounding to the earth and feeling the support that mother earth gives back to us Noting that as much as you are connected to the earth, so too is the earth connected to you. Lift your attention up through the front of the body now, feeling the freshness, the coolness of the morning air on your skin. Lift that awareness right up to the nostrils. Notice the movement of the air through your nose as you breathe. Focus closely on each nostril and see if you can find that one is maybe breathing a little easier than the other at this time. Follow the next in breath. Breathe yourself tall, lift that height into the body, exhale. 
three arms, deep inhale. Easy breathing. Hold the attention with the breath. Breathing and controlling the breath to my count. Exhale completely. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Breathe normally. Keep the chest open, keep the height in the spine, just allow the body to breathe. And in the second round, working with the triangle the other way up. So we'll exhale, hold, and inhale. Take a comfortable in breath. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Take a breath. Allow the body to breathe normally, no control, just allow it to breathe. We're coming to a breath retention, aiming to hold the breath for my count of 30. But if you need to take a breath before that, please do. Exhale completely. Comfortable inhale. Hold and relax. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and thirty release easy breath follow in the next inhale breathe tall to the crown of the head and as you exhale lift your chin close into your chest slowly open the eyes change the cross of your legs and bring your hands to the top of the knees yeah, drawing the chin into the chest, rolling the shoulders back and reaching the crown of the head forward. Slowly start to roll the right ear towards the right shoulder. And then start to lift the gaze, looking up to the roof, taking the chin high, rolling the head over to the left, left ear to left shoulder, and the chin slowly softening back to the chest. Keep going in the same direction. Right ear, right shoulder, gaze lifts to the roof, chin high, left ear, left shoulder, chin back to chest. Pause there for a moment, and then change in direction, left ear to left shoulder, lift the chin, lift the gaze, right ear, right shoulder, chin back to chest, same direction, left ear, left shoulder, looking up high, Right ear, right shoulder, chin back to chest. Pause for a moment. And then lift slowly, bring the head up to a neutral position. Here you're reaching the arms out to the side. Connect with your fingers, separating the fingers as much as you can. Trying to point the little finger to the floor and the thumb to the sky. And then slowly reach the hands forward. Rotating the thumbs inward until the thumbs touch. Slowly take the hands up above the head, pushing the fingers high and squeezing the biceps towards your ears. Hold that height on an in-breath. And as you exhale, slowly release to the sides again. Palms down. Push the thumbs away underneath. Turn the palms behind you. Notice if the shoulders want to creep up to the ears. Keep the shoulders soft, but keep the hands at shoulder height. Reach the hands away from you so you can feel the muscles squeezing to the bone and the length of your arms. You then drop the hands behind your back, reach across, bind a hand to each elbow. Notice which arm is on top. Secure that bind. Draw the forearms into the lower back, gently squeezing into the area of your kidneys, giving a nice squeeze and internal massage. Rolling the shoulders open, lifting the chest. You release again, hands to the side, thumbs point to the sky, take the hands up above the head. Again, binding behind the head, hand to each elbow, look to secure that bind. Watch for the chin dropping forward, reach the elbows to the sky and bring the chin up, gaze straight forward. Lengthen to the side of the body, you want to feel the opening in your armpits running down into the side ribs. Good. Releasing the arms, open to shoulder height again, this time palms to the sky, thumbs turning down, little fingers lifting skyward. Reach the hands away from each other, find that length through the shoulders. Then again, take your hands behind your back for a bind. Notice you're going to bind exactly the same way as you did the first time. 
just look to change that. Take the top arm to the bottom, the bottom arm to the top. Secure the bind. Squeeze the elbows into the lower back. Roll the shoulders open. Open the chest. And release in your bind. Arms out to the side again. Palms backwards. Lifting the little fingers. Leading the way. Take the hands up to the top. Back of the hands to touch. Push tall. And then again, drop to bind. Notice your bind in the same way as you did the first time. Shift the hands so the other one is on top. Push the elbows high. Reach the elbows behind you. Open into the chest. Feel the length in the back. Good. Nice work. Release. Thumb tips to touch. Reach tall. Take a deep in breath. As you exhale, drop the left hand down to the right knee, the right hand behind, and slowly start to work into a twist. Using the arms to assist, using your gaze to assist, try and look at the ground behind you. As you release from the twist, inhale the hands tall again, and exhale to the left. And work the shoulders to line up with the center line of your mat. Inhaling on the release, reach high to the sky again, and then take the hands down to the mat in front of you. <clears throat> if you can, roll over the knees and come up onto hands and knees. Yes, lift your feet away from the floor and then rotate into the ankles in any direction just moving the feet to release the ankles and bringing the toe tips onto the floor walk the toes to walk you towards your knees and push the heels away so that you feel the stretch in the sole of the foot if you want to press into the hands and lift the knees and push the weight slightly back so you're getting that stretch to the sole of the foot, to the lower Achilles and calf muscle. Then come back down, release the toes to the mat. Working into cat and calf, tuck your chin into your chest, lift the heart, round into the back, push the floor away. Be aware of pointing the tailbone to the ground, engaging the core, lifting the belly button. As you release, allow the belly to fall to the floor, turn the tailbone to the sky, lift the gaze, looking to the roof if you can, and one more, chin into the chest, round into the back, lift the heart, push the floor away, and as you inhale, release the belly, draw the chest forward between the arms, look ahead. Okay, it's often back to a neutral position, a little lift on the belly button, and then pulling the left hip towards the left shoulder, release right hip towards the right shoulder. It's as if you were wagging your tail, just look for that movement in the hips, in the lower back. And then coming back to center, taking that same movement up to the shoulders, draw the right shoulder forward to the right ear, and then release left shoulder to the left ear. Alternating from side to side, taking the movement to the upper back. And coming back to center, pushing your way back into an extended child's pose. Sit the bum down onto the heels, bring the weight of the body onto the thighs, crawl the fingers forward, look for that stretch through the armpits, and then allow the tip of the nose and the forehead to drop to the mat. Draw yourself forward, come back up onto hands and knees. Adjust now so that the right hand is slightly forward into the center of the mat. And open up the left arm, lifting, reaching to the sky. Imagining that you're creating a straight line through your arms and shoulders and the gaze is turned up to that top hand. Good. 
can, as you release your hand, bring it down underneath your chest, push it as far across to the right hand side as you can, come down onto your shoulder, down onto the side of the head, lift the top elbow, and then walk your fingers forward, creating a right angle between your armpits. And if you want to deepen the twist, gently draw the hips over to the left hand side. If this is comfortable and enough for you, then stay here. If you want to take it deeper, lift that top hand to reach to the roof. Turn your thumb to face your toes. And then bring your hand down behind your back, bringing the fingers onto the top of the left thigh. Use that bind to roll the shoulder open, roll your head and look up to the roof. Good. Release from your bind, reach to the sky again, and then bring your hand down above your head and slowly lift back up onto your hands. Yeah, this time taking the left hand slightly forward, right hand reaches to the sky, open up into the chest, push that floor away, look to find space in the body. And yeah, then float your top hand down underneath you, push it all the way across, come down onto your shoulder, down onto the side of the head. You lift the left elbow, look underneath your armpit, and then walk that left hand away, creating that right angle between the arms. Again, check in with the hips if you want to take the stretch a little deeper. Ease the hips over to the right hand side. And stay here or move to the bind if you wish, reaching that top hand to the sky. Thumb turns to the toes, bring the back of your hand down against the body and reach around the top of the thigh. Roll your shoulder open, roll the head, look up to the roof. And nice sweep, release from the bind, reach to the sky, bring the hand down above the head. And slowly lift back up onto all fours. Walk your way back to sit onto your heels. You're coming into an easy twist. Right hand, fingers down, bring the palm onto your hip. Left hand to the outer right thigh. Take a deep in breath. As you exhale, turn to look back. Pass that back shoulder, trying to see the ground behind you. Looking to twist and using the arms to assist that movement. Releasing slowly back to the front, working to the other side, palm against the hip, right hand outside of the left thigh. Inhale yourself tall, exhale, release the shoulders, let go into the twist. Suffering. Come back to the front, bring yourself forward, up onto hands and knees again, once again, just lift the feet from the mat, rotate into them, releasing the ankles, and then bringing the big toes together and the knees together. Keeping your hips directly above your knees now, walk the hands away, come down to the elbows, and then look to drop chin and chest towards the floor. Lifting slowly, walk back on your hands, back up onto your hands and knees, bring the left foot forward, lining the toes up with your fingertips, and then gently pushing your way back, straightening into that leg as best you can, just taking the hip straight back, keeping the palms pressed to the floor, keeping your toes pulled to the mat, look to find that length on the top of the foot, 
and in the back of the leg. Ease yourself forward. Shuffle that foot forward so that your heel lines up with the fingertips now. And this time, as you come back, lift the toes away from the mat. Imagine you're dragging that heel towards you and pull a little more length onto the back of the leg. Bring your weight forward onto your front foot. Bring the body forward so you're resting onto that front leg. Come up onto the toes of your back foot. And then open the arms out to the side. Resting your body weight on your front thigh. Finding the balance. Looking for that length through the shoulders, out to the fingertips. Good. Keep the body weight well forward. Reach your arms forward. Making a straight line from the back heel all the way up to the hands. And then slowly lift to a 45 degree. We're not all the way up straight. Push back into your back heel, soften in the back ankle, try and reach the heel to the floor, and then slowly continue lifting. Up into a high lunge, warrior one, feel the heat building. Okay, open arms to the side, soften the body forward again, rest onto your thigh, pause there for a moment. Yeah, take the hands back to the mat, lift that front foot, return it to the back. Come into plank position, push your weight back over your toes, the heels reaching to the back of the mat, try and feel that length in the Achilles and lower calf. Then ride your weight forward, come up onto your toe tips, bring the weight into the wrists. Good, come back to neutral. Soften the knees to the floor, adjust again so hips are above knees, hands are below shoulders. And bring the right foot forward in between your hands. Line the toes up with the fingertips, keep the toes pulled down into the mat. And gently work your way back again, straightening into that front leg as best you can. Good, come forward, pull that foot forward till your heel lines up with the fingertips. This time as you push back, lift the toes and pull that heel into the mat, drawing that length into the back of the leg. Nice work, soften forward, take the hands up to the top of the mat. Tuck the back toes under, lift, let the body weight rest on that front thigh, open the arms to the side, hold the balance. Then reach the arms forward, no lift in the body yet, just reach the arms forward. And look for a little lift to 45 degrees, hold it there. And then continue your way all the way up to the top. Push back into that back leg. Lift the back of the knee. Let the heel drop towards the mat. Notice the breath. Remember all yogic breath through the nose. The greatest defense is the filtration of the nose. Breathe through the nose. Get holding the pose, opening up the arms. Softening forward again, rest in the body onto your thigh. Get bringing the hands down to the mat, stepping that front leg back, come into plank, holding plank, and then pushing the weight back. So softening your ankles, feel that length in the lower calf. Ride the weight forward, try and come up onto the toe tips, bring the weight to the wrists. Yeah, tuck the elbows right in, slowly release to Chaturanga, and then soften all the way down. Point the toes and push your way back into extended child's pose again, dropping the forehead, the nose to the mat.
So notice the breathing in the body, feel the movement of the breath in the body. Pull yourself forward again, up onto hands and knees. Take both feet out to the left hand side and then sit back inside of your feet. You bring that left foot over to the outside of the right knee. <clears throat> Sitting tall, lean back a little bit as you start to work into the twist and bring that front knee up towards the right armpit. Tucking the elbow to the front of the knee, hugging in the arm over the knee, hugging the knee into the armpit. Left hand reaching back. Take a deep in breath, breathe yourself tall, and on the exhale, release, let go into the twist. Notice how the breath affects the position of the pose. You'll notice that an in breath tends to unwind you from the pose. So work with that, take an in-breath, and as you exhale, use that release to go deeper and deeper into the movement. Then try and sit the left sits bone back to the floor, so you're sitting square onto your mat, that will deepen the stretch in the outside of the left leg. Good. Follow an in breath, release the twist, come back to straight. Okay, take the bottom leg straight out onto the mat and keep the left foot on top of the right knee. Take a hand to ankle, a hand to knee, and just lift yourself tall. Bring in the chest forward as if you were trying to reach your chest above your shin and connect strongly with that front foot. Draw the toes back towards you. Emphasize drawing the little toe towards you. It's easier for the stretch if your little toe is pointed away. So bring that little toe back towards you. You want the sole of the foot square with the top end of your mat. Lift tall into the chest and slowly fold yourself forward. If you have the space to reach forward and bind to that foot you can or to the ankle. Wherever you're working is perfect though. Just keep drawing the chest towards the shin. Keep the chin up. You're looking to keep the back as flat as possible or as long as possible as you ease into that movement if you get to the bottom and you can drop your forehead onto your shin by all means do. Okay, lifting slowly, draw yourself back. Take hold of that left foot, lift it. Take the outside of your foot into the crease of your right elbow and then hug around that shin. You can interlock the fingers, lifting your foot so the shin's parallel to the ground, lifting the body tall, drawing the shin back towards the heart and reaching your heart towards your shin. Hold the connection with your front foot and then gently rock yourself from side to side using the movement to assist the release. Okay, gently hold that twist towards the right so you're drawing your foot around to the side. Okay, nice work. Soften back to center. As you lower your foot, allow it to come to the inside of your right thigh. Adjust again to lift yourself tall onto the sits bones. Take the right hand forward, offer your, offer your palm to the sky, and then slip your thumb underneath your calf, elbow on the inside of the knee. Use that leg to keep that palm down. Open up the left arm, reaching behind you, taking your gaze width to look to that left arm. Turn the palm up to the sky, and then slowly bring your hand overhead. Folding into the side of the body as you reach down towards your foot. Don't be concerned about where you are. If your hand's still reaching to the sky, that's fine. As long as you're feeling a stretch somewhere, you're getting the benefit of the pose. So work into it where your body will allow today.
Lift that top hand slowly. Come on up to center. Release the front arm. Come back up to straight. Straighten out the left leg. Bring the right foot to the top of the left thigh. Hand to ankle, hand to knee. Lift yourself tall. Good. Draw the chest forward. Engage with that front foot. Draw the toes towards you, especially the little toe. And if there is the space to reach for a bind, walk your hands away. Bind to that foot. Keep drawing the chest forward. Only at the very end of the movement, allow the head to drop. Nice whip. Releasing slowly. Come on up. Lift that foot. Take your foot into the crease of the elbow. Bind around the knee. Look for the bind. Lift yourself tall. Lift your shin so that it's parallel to the ground. And then look for that gentle movement. Easing into the stretch. Front foot stays active. Back is active. Core is engaged. Lifting the height into the body. And then come to pause as you draw your foot around to the left hand side. Releasing slowly as that foot comes down, bring it down to the inside of your thigh. <clears throat> Take the left arm forward, palm up to the sky. Tuck your thumb underneath your calf, your elbow inside of your knee. Reach back with the right arm, work into the twist. Keep the chin tucked into the body, bring your hand overhead and start to fold towards your front foot. You want to be underneath your arm, looking up to the ceiling, drawing the toes back towards you and reaching your fingers to the toes. Just breathe with the pose. Again, you'll feel an inhale lifting you out of the pose. The exhale gives you that space to move a little deeper. Slow lift, reach up to the sky, release the front arm, come back up to center, bring the foot, front foot in, bring the soles of the feet together, taking a bind, around the outside of the foot and the little toe, lifting yourself tall, hopping the feet towards you or walking towards your feet, Look to lift up high. Drawing the chest through between the arms, take height to the spine, hold that height in the body and then start to fold forward, soften the elbows, bring the elbows to the inside of the calf muscles and let the weight to the upper body Assist in that opening, gently easing the knees towards the mat, allowing a deeper release on the inner thigh. If there's space available, then shift the elbows forward of the shins, continue folding forward and draw yourself down a little deeper. So we're lifting slowly, come on up. Okay, bring the knees up together, take both feet around to the right hand side of you, and then bring the left foot over the top, working in that twist to the right hand side, lift yourself tall, come away from your legs so there's room for you to move, and then bring the kneecap into the armpit of the left arm, reach the right arm, right arm behind, inhale, breathe yourself tall, exhale, let go. Release into the twist. Last effort, take a deep in breath. And on the exhale, look for a little more movement. 
and then release yourself, come back to the front, take that front foot back behind you, roll over the legs, come back up onto hands and knees, tuck in the toes under, lift up to downward facing dog, soften one knee, straighten into the other, just alternate from side to side, and then come to stop with the left leg straight, the right knee soft, Push the weight from your right hand back to that left leg. Let the left heel reach for the floor. Yeah, walk it out again from side to side. And then come to stop this time with the right leg straight, the left knee soft. Push into the left hand, push the weight back to the right foot. Good, walk it out again side to side and then come to stop with both legs straight, push the floor away with both hands, take the hips up high and then lean the hips over to the right and then across to the left, back to center, push the floor away, Good. soften the knees, walk the feet forward to the middle of the mat, walk the hands back to meet your feet, soften in your knees, bring the hands together at heart center and come into chair pose. We're taking the weight back, you can lift your toes from the floor, and then twisting to the left hand side, work into the twist to the left, hook your elbow outside of your knee if you can. Lift the elbows so the elbows are stacked and the palms of the hands are parallel to the ground. If that feels like enough, stay here. If you want to work a bit deeper, try and keep your elbow outside of your knee. Reach your hand down to your foot and then open, lift to the sky again. Get releasing, bring your hands back together, lift the body, release the twist. Reach the hands forward, sit back into it, lift your hands so you can see underneath your hands, lift the toes from the mat and hold. Good, then bring the hands back to the heart, twist into the other side, so we're working to the right now. Left elbow outside of your knee, elbow stacked, palms parallel to the ground. And drop the bottom hand to the floor, Reach to the sky, find that twist, find the opening in the chest. And hold the control, bring the hands back together, lift, release, reach the hands forward, sit down into it, lift the toes, lift the hands so you can see underneath your hands. Good work as you bring the hands back to the heart center. Slowly lift, come on up, to stand tall. Release the hands to the side. As you inhale, turn the thumbs open. As we exhale, reach to the sky. Good, pushing up to the fingertips. Come up onto the toes. Taking as much height into the body as you can. We'll inhale. As you exhale, drop into that forward fold, keeping the heels away from the mat. And then slowly soften, heels to the floor. Find your belly button, lift from the position of the belly button, and slowly make your way up. Come up to stand tall. Okay, good, we're coming to balance. We will use Dancer as our pose today in the balance. So taking the weight into your right foot, lift the left foot behind, reach with both hands to start the pose, binding to your foot, drawing the heel into your bum and bringing the knees together, roll the shoulders back, open the front of the body. And use the right hand to bind to the inside of your foot, placing the thumb onto the bottom of the big toe, and then reaching wide and high. As we start to fold forward, lift that foot behind and push the foot away. You're 
to come down till the front arm is parallel to the ground, lifting the foot, opening as much space behind you as you can. And to find the balance there, find the steadiness. As we come out of the pose, hold the control. Bring the knees together to release the bind. Bring the knee through to the front. I've been binding the knee up to the chest, point the toes, and then release foot to the floor, going straight over to the other side. Binding with both hands to your heel to start, draw the heel into the buttock, take the knees together, shoulders open, chest open. Good. Then adjust your bind to the inside of the foot. Thumb onto the big toe, either arm reaches to the sky as you fold. Keep your gaze forward, lift that foot behind, push your foot into your hand, opening up as much space between body, arm and leg as you can. And then looking to find the steadiness, the strength, the grace in the dancer pose. Holding the control as we come back out, knees together, release the binds, lift the knee through to the front, and then bind knee to chest, and then release foot to floor. Good work, hands to the side again, taking a deep inhale, turn the thumbs open, exhale, reach the hands up high. You take the left hand to bind to the right wrist. Use that left hand to push the right hand high and then slowly fold to the left. When you think you've come to the end of that movement, let the hips go a little bit more. When you've come to that movement, let your ear drop to your shoulder and just relax into the side bend. And move with an inhale, back up to center, change the bind, right palm to the sky, bind to the left wrist, use the right hand, push the length up into that left hand side, fold to the right. Let the hips go, and then let your ear drop to your shoulder. Relax into the side bend. Easy lift, coming back up to center, release from the bind, release the arms. Just shake out into your hands. Good again. Inhaling the thumbs open, exhaling, reaching high. Inhale, push up onto the toes, hold the heels away from the mat, lower the arms forward to shoulder height. Engage the core, keep the tailbone pointing between your heels and soften your knees coming into a squat. You're just coming down to where you're comfortable. Spine is vertical, heels are lifted from the mat. Good. Release the hands. Turn the palms skyward again, slowly start to lift. Only when your hands are above your shoulders, start to push up. Reaching tall, right up to the top, take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, release. Sorry. Okay, adjust the feet so the ankles are touching, the knees are close together. Inhale again, lift up tall, push up onto your toes. Slow release of the arms forward to shoulder height. Engage with the knees this time, squeeze the knees together. Keep the core engaged, keep the tailbone pointing to the ground, and again, soften. Good. Keep the knees hugging towards each other, hold it there. So release on the hands, arms turn open, lifting, 
Bring the hands above the shoulders, then start a slow lift. Pushing all the way up to the top. Taking a deep in breath here. And on the exhale, drop the heels, drop the arms, hang into your forward fold. Let the chin come to the chest. Let the arms hang loose. Notice the breathing in the body. Notice the heat in the body. And then soften into your knees. Come down to sit. And down to lie into Shavasana. Connect with your body. Take the awareness down to your feet. Draw the big toes inward. And then allow the relaxation. Let the little toes fall open to the floor. Feel the softening in the knees as you do that. Feel the letting go of the legs as you release and relax. Take a little squeeze into the buttocks. Feel the hips lift. And then look to release, to let go, let go, let go. Feel the hips dropping back to the floor. Feel that relaxation. You take a little squeeze into your belly, pulling the lower back down to the mat. And then slowly release, relax that, feel that natural curve coming back into the lower back. Squeeze into the shoulders, drawing the shoulder blades towards each other, drawing the back of the arms to the floor, and clench into the fists. For the next exhale, feel the release, let go, relax into the arms. Your hands spring open into a soft, easy position. Take tension into the face, closing the eyes as tight as you can, wrinkling the forehead as much as you can. Taking tension into the cheeks, hold that for a moment. And as you release the breath, let all tension go, feel that softening of the forehead. Feel the relaxing of the eyelids. Feel a softening of the cheeks and a relaxing of the jaw. And notice your tongue, soft and heavy in the bottom of the mouth. Take another easy in-breath. And as you let this breath go, let the whole body melt to the earth, knowing that you are fully supported. Just let go. Notice the, the natural softening of the breath. As we relax, try and hold your awareness on your breathing and allow yourself to relax completely.
Let your awareness leave your breath. Take movement to your fingers, movement to your toes. Bring your feet together, bring your hands together, hook the thumbs around each other and release your hands overhead. Palms facing the sky, push the hands as far away from the feet as you can. And push your feet as far away from your hands as you can. Breathe deeply and keep your right hand up there, bring your left hand to your chest, draw your knees up and roll to your right hand side. Taking a moment to thank yourself for taking this time to do yoga. Taking a moment to offer gratitude to your body for its abilities. And taking a moment to set an intention to have a joyful day. Lifting slowly, bring yourself up to sit, hands together at heart center. I'd like to invite you, if you have time during your day, to take a moment to think about what life would be like if you allowed your heart to lead the way and not your thinking. We'll close with a chant of one arm, deep inhale. into your chest, open your eyes, namaste. Great, thank you very much for joining me, have the best day and we'll be back tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock, same time, same place. Thank you.